Hello, all you lovely lads and lasses. My name is Gamer8, and this is uh, the full length reveal trailer for Star Wars Battlefront 2 upcoming this year, presumably, because apparently I didn't learn a fucking thing from the fact that I got um, my first cop, my first uh, false copyright claim from some. Sp from some Spanish TV network who don't have who have shit all to do with Star Wars, so cons consider this a test. I suppose maybe the first one could have been a fluke, but also consider it, um, well, you know, trailer reaction. So the first Star Wars Battlefront, and when I say the first one, I mean the actual first one back on the PS2. Yeah, I had I had that game. I I loved it. That was one of my favourite PS2 games I had. Although I didn't really play many of my PS2 games because I feel as if even as a kid I knew they like, some of them were crap. Uh, but I played Star Wars Battlefront a lot, and that yeah, that is one of the most beloved Star Wars games of all time. I never played the second one though, and then. In 2015, EA published a reboot called Star Wars Battlefront, of course, because I can't think of a new title, um, which was a very disappointing game for me and a lot of people. Um, well, I won't go into detail about why, but really, the nail that sealed its coffin was the lack of content. Even, even today, it's not that. Um, it hasn't got that much stuff, and, uh, well I bought it a few months after it came out at a cheaper price, so I didn't feel ripped off for how much content I was getting, but even, even with that, I thought it was just alright. So, but they're making a new one this year, and hopefully it'll be better. I assume it'll be better, because they said there's going to be a campaign in this one. Now, I don't need there to be a campaign in all full-priced releases, because I feel, I feel as if it's a bit closed-minded of people to just say, no, if you're a multiplayer-only game, you can't charge full price, because well, think about it, people have been buying single-player-only games at full price very happily since multiplayer became a thing. You know, Mass Effect, uh, Skyrim, uh, Bioshock, a lot more other stuff that I'm probably forgetting about. Um, so I don't... But I, I think as long as there's enough content... And the game is, you know, good. I don't really see any reason why you shouldn't be able to charge full price for a multiplayer only game. But that's where Star Wars Battlefront tripped up. It had probably about as much content as you would get from the multiplayer mode in a game that also had a campaign. Which is where it tripped up for me. So, yeah, I don't need there to be a campaign, but there's going to be in this one. So, let's have a look, and let's hope um, Telemundo don't come back. Let's hope they stay in Spain. And I, I looked at my screen recording things, there's literally no settings on this crap. It's shit, so whenever I want to talk about something, I'm going to have to pause. Sorry. I've waited 30 years for this. Whoa, hello, what is this? Is this from The Force Awakens? Are they going to acknowledge that other Star Wars films happen? Okay. Okay, mate, well, okay, that's not fair to say. Uh, is this from The Force Awakens? The first one, the 2015 one came out before The Force Awakens, so, yeah. orders the day the real war began the rebellion 
up cannot be allowed to persist. We weren't expecting special forces. This is, is this going to be like another Finn? Another stormtrooper who runs off? I guess he doesn't like his job. Hmm. That's the point, Sergeant. I mean, I'm, I'm assuming this is the campaign. Impossible. Commander, what do we do now? You piss off to the edge of a galaxy and make the first order. Isn't that what happened? I think that's what happened. Um, I'm liking this. I'm liking where this is going. I heard some rumours about it, the campaign being about a stormtrooper, which was... I don't mind it, but I kind of... Well, I thought it would be like Battlefield 1, where they had five mini-campaigns, uh, where you play as five different characters. I like that idea, but it was a bit short. But I like Battlefield 1's campaign. I was hoping it would be a bit more like that. But, I don't know, maybe it will be. Maybe we're just looking at one story here. We avenge our Emperor. God damn, are there going to be space battles this time? Because that's another thing, I mean... Star a Star Wars game without space battles is like Jaws without the shark. Like Jurassic Park without the dinosaurs. Like Lord of the Rings without rings. You, you get the point. I mean, it's called Star Wars. And you don't have any space battles. Just... Oh my god, what were they thinking? <laughs> anyway. Burn these ideas away. Hope cannot save them! Oh, nice. Yes, all errors, finally. Oh. Oh. You play as Kylo Ren in the multiplayer. Well, I kind of like where this is going. I mean, it, there's no gameplay footage here, so that sucks. But I like what is being promised. The problem is, I don't know if we're going to get what's promised, because EA, never trust EA. Um... <laughs> And already I'm seeing Get Star Wars The Last Jedi Heroes. Pre-order for Kylo Ren. Pre-order for Kylo Ren and Rey exclusive looks. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, but I do like what's being promised here. I'll say that. I like this... Um, so I guess the campaign is going to be about um, that Stormtrooper who took off a helmet. Which is a grand total of two stormtroopers throughout the entire Star Wars universe that I know of, who actually take off their helmets. Um, so, yeah, this looks interesting. But, 
it's it is EA. That's 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 just that, uh, that's that's just how you sum up every trailer of an EA game. It looks interesting, but it's EA. <laughs> Like that next time next time I do a trailer reaction for an EA game just gonna be it looks interesting, but it's EA and video. Uh no I won't do that. But mm. So I like that they're finally recognising all errors and I I saw comments from some people about the first one who were def who were defending like the fact that the original tri the original uh trilogy was the only error, I guess, that was that was being recognised in the 2015 game. Because they were they were just defending it because the prequels were shit. I mean, just fuck off. Look, that's the, what, why? Like what? It it was a multiplayer game. Do you are you do you really just? have that much against the prequels that you don't want to see Darth frickin' Maul in it? Really? Or fight, or, or there be a Mustafar map? Really? So, yeah, I don't know what, I don't really know what the campaign's about, but that's kind of a good thing, I guess. Well, okay. It's, so, well, so it looks like it takes place after Return of the Jedi, where there's um, one st and it just follows one stormtrooper. So I like I, I like that they're doing it, coming up with an original story because, as great as the first Battlefront, I mean the one on PS2. I don't know what year it came out. Because as great as that game was, the campaign was just all the iconic. Battles from the Star Wars movies. So I like that they're telling a new story. That that's good. And you know, and well, okay. So we know. So we don't really know anything about the multiplayer yet. But it looks like we're going to be getting um, hero characters from across all eras. Maybe that'll finally, um, maybe that'll finally silence a lot of drunken arguments. You know who? You know who would? would <laughs> that was terrible. You know who would win in the fight between uh, Darth Maul and um, Count Dooku? Maybe. If Count, I don't know if Count Dooku's in it, but anyway, so I'm liking the promises. The problem is it's EA, and you can never trust EA. So yeah, I I'm gonna keep an eye on it because I don't know, maybe it'll be um, a Titanfall too. Actually, come to think of it, that's Hmm. That's interesting, actually. Titanfall from 2014 was also a multiplayer-only game, and people generally thought it was good, but it didn't have enough content. Then a year later, there was Battlefront, which a lot of people also thought was good, but didn't have enough content. Then, the year after that, they released Titanfall 2, which not a lot of people played, but nearly everyone who did loved, because it had enough content, and was good. And then the year after that, they're releasing a sequel to Star Wars Battlefront, which has a campaign. How interesting. And, and they're all published by EA. How interesting. Um... But yeah, yeah, I'll, I'll keep an eye on it. I like promises, but EA. That's always that's just that should just be the fine print. That should just be what's uh, written like down here, along with online multiplayer requires PlayStation Plus. Looks promising, but EA.
Like someone from DICE, please sneak that onto the next trailer if they control the trailers, I don't know. But actually no, why would they? This publisher does that. What am I talking about? So hopefully this will be a Titanfall 2 for EA. And yeah. And hopefully we get to play as Kylo Ren too. That would kick ass. So, yeah, that, that's it. That's Star Wars Battlefront 2 trailer. So, thanks for watching. Uh, have a good one.